Hello and welcome once again to Production Matters, where the production matters, and so do you. I am here once again with someone else who matters, Sarah Fisher. <laughs> Hi, Chris. Nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you <laughs> for the first time. For the first time. Absolutely. <laughs> now, um, we've got you on here to talk about a music video. Mm -hmm. And that music video, as uh, I can read in my little black book here, is for a song that is called You Weaken Me. Uh -huh. So uh, what can you tell me about the inspiration or the message uh, in that song, how it came to be? Okay, well, I, I can tell you, it was a long, um, a long journey to getting the song done, you know. You always have to jump in there and, you know, change up lyrics, change up, you know. But in the end, what, what I had, you know, felt for what the song was about was, it's kind of that feeling where you're, you're really into someone and you want to close yourself off. You know, you, you don't really want to get them to become that close to you because you're nervous to get hurt or, you know, and it's something everyone goes through it and it's not, mm -hmm. you know, it's not, you know, you just, you want to close yourself off from people and it's kind of that feeling of letting someone, you know, step into your spotlight, letting someone come into your life, take over, be with you, be there for you, and sometimes it's hard to let that happen, mm -hmm. you know? Like, you kind of, you know, a lot of people get scared. It's happened to me a million times, like, you know? And, um, and yeah, and the song is kind of just a really, it's a transition into watching someone slowly let someone come in and be a big part of their life and be someone that they can trust and be there for. And, and yeah, so, you know, the main message is stepping into your spotlight, letting someone come in and be a part of you and who you are and stuff. Cool. And uh, and the way that you put the song together, as I understand it, was you worked with one Jeff Eden to I did. Uh, engineer I and did. produce that song. So how'd that uh, relationship come about? Actually, I, I went in to record songs for Mother's Day when I was 10 or 11. Mm -hmm. And um, it was the first time I've ever been to a recording studio, and I loved it. I loved it. And Jeff is amazing he's really talented and I've like we've become really good family friends too like he's been great and so basically we've been recording ever since I was 11 we've just been going on and I come in every now and then and we record we have a lot of fun and and he's very he's very talented and what's great is because we have a relationship we always we kind of have the same idea of direction with where we want to go with songs because you know mm -hmm. you want to listen to it and have have a feeling for you know, what mood you want, what kind of song, you, you know, re relate it to a song and you kind of say, I want that vibe. Yeah. I want it to be more pop or I want it to be more this. And we always have the same ideas. Like, we always go with the same stuff, which is really great to work with because, um, you know, we work really well as a team, so. So it's kind of like a really good creative partnership. It's been fostered for a few years. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. The, the natural awesome. fit. Yeah, it's a, it was a really good fit. And he's really calm. That's a big thing too, right? Like, he's really, he's awesome. Like, it's not... He's, he's very relaxed and he, we really just, we work really well together, so mm -hmm. I love him. <laughs> awesome. Well, you are a singer and an actor, mm -hmm. and uh, combining these things, uh, I'm curious if being both of those kinds of performers helped out when you were doing the music video shoot. Um, now, I understand you were shooting uh, with folks from this school, in fact, mm -hmm. uh, perhaps even with a director that we may know uh, as uh -huh. uh, a crazy director, Canadian-Hungarian <laughs> cannibal, Cal Sigvari. <laughs> um, I'm curious, uh, was it helpful to have experience as an actor and a singer when you were trying to kind of fuse the two for a music video? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was definitely, definitely helpful because, you know, I've, I've always felt music, like music's always been my passion. I definitely, I'm into it and I feel it and I love it, but I just, having that, you know, having acting and having, you know, that being something I'm working on and stuff, it really, really, it just, it helped a lot, especially working with Marco, um, the actor, the guy actor in it. He was amazing mm. and we had like, we had a lot of fun the whole time and he, um, and working with him and working off him and stuff, like having had, and been in like I'm still um, doing them acting lessons and stuff. Um, it it really helped to react to things he was saying and like to to really connect with him. Yeah. Um, and before acting, that's not something I totally knew how to do. Mm. So it was definitely extremely helpful. I've I've seen in in other music videos where you can you can kind of see that divide where you may have a, a really good musician who's never been on camera before and it yeah. can kind of show in a music video if, oh, yeah. if they're uncomfortable about where they are or they're kind yeah, of nervous. Yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, cuz it is, you know, there's cameras on you. It's scary. Like yeah. it does get scary. So I mean, now like, you know, like I I love it. It's it's a lot of fun, but it's definitely, you know, all the cameras are on you and you're like, don't mess up. Like yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's 
It is, it is really great. That was extremely helpful, especially my classes are on camera. Like, we practice having a camera, like, in your face. Yeah. So you get used to it, um, which is awesome. So, so it really, really helped me. Yeah, I mean, then you can roll with punches. You can roll with things that might happen. Exactly. Like, if, if a piece of paper, exactly. like, it wouldn't happen here, but if a piece of paper <laughs> were to fall on the ground, you completely just roll with that totally smoothly. <laughs> you could. It, it, do, it doesn't happen here. But no, like, no, if it doesn't. It did, if it did, you'd be fine. I, I think I would. I might, I might get a little bit nervous, but... <laughs> Now, uh, we're talking Are about the okay music now? video. I'm, I'm feeling okay. Okay, good. I had some hot good. chocolate beforehand, so <laughs> of course. I'm feeling all right. There you go. It was mentioned. <laughs> My um, favorite. We, it's a thing. It is um, a thing. We're going to roll a quick <laughs> clip in a second here. Uh, as I said, Trevis students did help uh, put the music video together, and uh, I thought that maybe we'd show just a little bit of behind the scenes. Um, we've got a clip from Sarah's website, sarahfisher.ca, plugged, <laughs> and uh, thought that maybe we'd uh, check that out. There it is. I, was strong, I am not was sure if we can talk during this. We can talk during this. I just, <laughs> oh, okay. The director just let me know. Awesome. So uh, that's so you in the, that's, uh, the, that's the ethereal looking scene. I like that oh, shot. It doesn't look sick with the light behind him. I love that. Yeah. I think that looks awesome. It makes Marco look like a badass. <laughs> and there's that's, Cal. That was the best, that one line. And, uh, that, that, was when we, that was when we set, off, uh, we set off the fire alarms with the smoke machine. Which, really? Um, and that was... <laughs> That was a great, that was awesome. And so the, it went off like at least, went off at 2.30 in the morning, which obviously the name is Love. Oh, And yeah. <laughs> it was mm. really fun, but anyway, so. Yeah, that, it that's was dangerous, it was dangerous. Oh man, smoke machines. <laughs> I once worked with somebody who said they were allergic to smoke machines and we had to tell them, you know that smoke machine is just, it's just water that's coming out, right? Like, well, I'm allergic to water. And some people. <laughs> It happens. Now, uh, actually, you just brought up a great example of what I was about to ask you. Yeah. Um, were there any, aside from fire alarms at 2.30 in the morning, which is fantastic, <laughs> were there any other unexpected or uh, like unexpected moments or surprises during the shoot? You know what? That was definitely one of them. Well, one thing which, uh, you know, is a little surprising, it's, you know, it's a really long process to do all this stuff and, you mm -hmm. know, get all the shots you want. And I thought, I was like, oh, yeah, like, we'll be done at, like, 11, 11.30. And we were going till three in the morning. Yeah. Like we didn't get home till about three. And but you know what? Like I loved it. It was awesome. It was just you know we were all we were all working like and really this, this hard. And this was your this was your first professional crude music video yeah. shoot, right? Yeah, it was. So that must have been kind of exciting. Like it getting, was. Getting that it was really exciting. It was. Mm. Really, and actually, I just saw um, a bit more of a clip from it, and it's amazing. It looks incredible, and. I, it was just such a great day. Like everyone was so important and did such, like really did such a good job. And mm -hmm. I honestly have to thank them all a lot because they spent a really long, long day. Well, they, but it was they were... really fun. It was we all had a really good time and everyone did a, an amazing job. They were dealing with adversities. I mean, I, I I'm just thinking of this off the top of my head, not yeah. cute at all. But there was this <laughs> story I heard when we were setting up about uh, candles on the piano. Oh, and that was bad. The the, the <laughs> wax kind of didn't cooperate with. You know, the I didn't shoot. even see it happen. I didn't even see. It. I was playing. So what, what happened? What happened? I was I was playing piano and I hear something leak and I'm like, it's right in front of me. God knows why. And I was looking down or something. I just didn't even see it. Everyone starts running to the piano, and um. Everyone just. Oh, we got a, yeah, we have a photo. Oh, we do have a picture. The picture's right so that's, there. That's Thank you, guys. The, uh... the picture's right there. So that's what happened. It actually looked. It was pretty. It was a pretty big splash, and I was just playing. I didn't even notice. And everyone, everyone, rushed over to the piano, and I was like, I, I still did. I was thanks, like, guys. <laughs> Thank, thanks for rushing over to me. But like, what's up? And then I look over, and this candle is like burning, and I. I thought the piano was gonna go on fire or something. I was like, like it didn't, I was like, oh my god! And everyone came over, and um. I was worried the piano, it's such a nice piano, I didn't want to break the piano or anything. Yeah. And it ended up being totally fine, but yeah, you know what, that was shocking. That was, that was enough for one. Well, candle wax, you know, if you're not expecting it, that can, that can surprise, yeah. that can astonish. Oh yeah, And oh, make yeah. a huge mess. It, um, as it did. <laughs> I've actually seen candle wax splatter everywhere because someone was trying to punch out a candle with... <laughs> You know, martial arts skill. It, it wasn't Are you me. Are serious? But, no, um, it, w it wasn't you. No. It wasn't it was, you. You know, my friend. Yeah. Frank. Friend of a friend. Yeah, friend of a yeah, friend. Yeah, you don't even know him. Pete. I don't, I don't know the guy <laughs> Pete, at all. Pete, Frank. Um, now, I wanted to ask you, going off of uh, some more of the... Uh, the fact that this was your first music video, uh, and you were doing some stuff like uh, you had scenes where you were kind of static, you were at the piano, and you were just kind of yeah. singing along to the music as it played. And then you also had scenes where you were working with Marco. Um, yeah. 
I have his name written down on my piece of paper here. <laughs> Full name, Marco Genuso. Yeah. Um, when you were working with him versus working on your own, just with the music playing, uh, what were the differences like uh, in those two different types of shots? <laughs> there we are, husband and oh, wife. Hey, <laughs> we're calling each other Romeo and Juliet all day. Aww. And um, yeah, he he was he was really great. And I mean, it's di it's just different performance wise, mm -hmm. you know, because. On the on the piano and just like singing, you know, it's kind of like just what I do at home. Like you just you're into it, you're feeling it. And I was actually, you know, I was just no. belting it, getting into it, and it was it was awesome. And there's um there's another picture of the husband yeah, and wife right there. Yeah, there's the uh, staircase shot with. He the actually proposed during no, Jug. Um, <laughs> oh wow. So, <laughs> um, yeah, we um, what, you know, when you work with when you're working with someone though, you work you work with them, right? You're both doing fifty percent of the other person's work, so. Yeah. When he says stuff, you know, you just you're listening, and we were actually talking during it. You know, we were kind of making up our own little. I saw in the in the behind the scenes footage. That's, that's actually what gave me the idea for the question was, uh, yeah. you know, seeing you just kind of working on your own with the piano, but then when you went yeah. outside, you basically you were both kind of semi improvising, playing off each other. It seemed like yeah, just oh trying yeah. to figure out a way to pull off that coverage footage. Pretty yeah, much. it's just you know just getting that connection with that person, and he's so nice. So like we were talking for a while too. Yeah. Um. So you know we, we built a relationship, and then. When we when we got up there it was just you know we would like say things we would um, we would make up dialogue just like on the spot mm -hmm. and um, and it you know it really worked in the end it was really it was awesome and that's really fun it's really it's really different because you're working with someone and you know you're both you're both um, saying stuff doing stuff like it it was fun to work with him it was really fun mm -hmm. definitely different from just you know doing the sing on the piano which I love too because. You know. <laughs> yeah, you had a dolly there. It was pretty cool. I did. I, I it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. <laughs> um, I should mention, by the way, I wasn't there for the shoot. Um, I'm <laughs> operating off my knowledge of background uh, footage because I was in Texas for business uh, that weekend. And it was, it was all kind of locked in. I'm very sorry about that. No, don't apologize. Uh, that's why I want to interview it's you cool. now. I want to get some of this information like, <laughs> yeah. locked in. Um, and I wanted to also ask you about, oh, there, that's actually that's who I wanted to ask you about. Uh, we can see in the photo there in the very foreground, I believe that's uh -huh. Francois. That is Francois. Um, I wanted to ask you what it was like working with uh, two of the more pro folks on the crew, Francois and Jennifer. Um, if they were a really big boon, uh, were, were they able to help wrangle uh, the madcap director you know, asking <laughs> to do all this crazy stuff? Um, yeah, they, they tried to oh, keep Francois control again. of him for sure. <laughs> Yeah, we got we got Francois up on the screen on the screen Yeah, again. yeah, he's right there. There's Dre in the background, who I believe yeah. was operating the dolly. <laughs> no, Fr Francois was and Jen were amazing. Francois, he did, he got incredible shots. Like, it, he was going nuts the whole time. You know, idea, idea, idea. We just kept on shooting, and he, mm. and you know, he would go around. He had this awesome idea of going over me, over the piano, and like yeah. under, and like, it was crazy. Like the. <laughs> I thought it would hit me though. The the, the thing was <laughs> oh, like the, going the this jib close. Was like, like oh, coming. he he was in control. He got it. Yeah. But it was like it was like right here, and I was like. Ah. Something I noticed <laughs> about under. Francois actually in, in, in the uh, the EPK behind the scenes footage is yeah. he was pretty much smiling about everything that he was seeing. Like he looked like he, he was, was really pleased. With, was. with his job. He yeah, he did he did a really amazing job. Like mm -hmm. when I and I've seen the some of this stuff now and like it looked incredible. Like it was it was awesome and he um yeah he did. An amazing job, and he he really took advantage of every shot, every possible shot he could get, which was mm -hmm. awesome. And and he got it. And Jen was amazing; she was so organized with everything, getting everyone where they had to be, making sure everyone was looking mm -hmm. their best, feeling their best, and you know, just for encouragement, like getting you pumped up and stuff. Like she was yeah. great to have around, and she she did a really great job also with catching like what we wanted on the camera and where I should be facing and looking. I, he I heard her giving you some so, direction during the dolly shots. Yeah, 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 she did, which helps a lot because sometimes you don't know if you're giving the camera what it, what it needs and stuff, so yeah. it was nice for her to be like, oh, like look over here, and I'm like, okay, like it, <laughs> it was, you know, it was, it was good. It that was must really have been good. one of the advantages of not having to worry about live sound is you could pretty much uh, call out direction or, or any kind of change yeah. that needed to happen like during the shot. Yeah. Yeah, that was definitely, that was handy too. So it was, it was good. It was really good. Awesome. Um, now I have a very important question to ask Okay. You. And this is based on a lot of information. I interviewed a lot of the crew and I heard this was a really big part. Tell me about, <laughs> this is with capital letters, <laughs> Okay. the smoke machine. I knew, I knew you were going to say that. Okay. So I was really, really into the smoke machine, like the whole time. Like if you ask Cal, the whole time. 
Cal, can you bring more smoke? Like a little more smoke? You would do it, like, it would be filled in the room, like a little more smoke, Cal. Like, we should like, we, and it looks so cool. Like, mm -hmm. in the video, it looks awesome. Like, you really get that, that kind of fantasy dream kind of look, it, it you know? It missed really nicely with the light. It did, the, with it the did. Light. It looked awesome. And um, I just kept on bringing more smoke, bringing more smoke. Honestly, it looked so great. In the end, it looked really, really cool. And I was into it. It's really, it was awesome because you know you feel all mysterious because it's all like at the ground and you can't really yeah, see your feet. Everywhere. You're like, yeah, it was that, crazy. That shot with Marco uh, with the in, like a silhouette with the light behind him I in the window. I love that one. I love everywhere. that. Yeah, that looked yeah. that looked really awesome. And I, and I was surprised how much of an effect came across because watching just the smoke being you know the smoke machine being turned on. Yeah. At first, I thought like that's not much smoke. Like it was just going to oh, go like. Oh, it was a lot. <laughs> it's like, oh, you don't, you don't think it is because it does it like every two seconds and it's not, it's not like a ton. Yeah. It says, psh, psh, just so you know, a few. But then you look around, you're like, I can't see where I am. You're yeah. like, and it was awesome. I thought it was so cool. And you're like, I'm going to go up the staircase. I don't know where the stairs are. I wish I had are, one in my house just to feel like intense and like in a movie all the time. Just have like smoke on the <laughs> to ground. To psych up like, in the morning? <laughs> yeah. Turn the smoke machine on. I'm coming Mom, out in a smoke second. smoke machine? Okay. <laughs> feel ready for this. Um, well, that, that answers my biggest question. I still have a few yeah, more questions. Most but, important question. Um, now, we, we talked about the pros uh, who are working on this, but a lot of the crew were also Trebus Institute students. Yeah, yeah. Um, I would have been one of them, but, you know, I was, I, <laughs> Texas, you know, there's big stakes there, and you got to deal with this dude with big, huge hats. It's, oh, yeah. Don't, don't ask gotta questions. Got to wear those hats all the time. Don't but, ask questions. Uh, I'm, I'm curious if you had any experiences of... Uh, what do you think it might have been like um, just working with those students? Like, were, did you find they were pretty pro? Did you find they were uh, they were pretty good at what they're doing? There's, there's Crystal right over there, who's uh, very happily taping some <laughs> she, wires. She was. She was. They were all. Uh, they were amazing. They mm. were so incredible, so professional. Like they, they spent the entire day, like into like the morning, working on it, and and mm. even like on other days oh, there's, too. Oh, there's you and Phil. Oh, there's okay. There's me and Phil being classy. That's my favorite shot, That's right there. That's super classy, right there. <laughs> We're really classy people, you know. We have you. We have even uh, even better pictures, like sticking tongues out. You know, just really professional. Yeah. Well done pictures. Well, you and know, in, in some countries, that's practically like standing with your hands behind your back and saluting. Like, that, that's what it, we, exactly. Like, mm -hmm. that's what that picture oh, looks there's like. Oh, no? there's a shot there with Stu. Oh, there's one too. Um, there you go. He's running our boom mic, actually. Uh, for this <laughs> thing. Um, yeah, it, it, it looked to me in the, in the behind the scenes like everyone was really getting along well and that there was a good yeah. vibe on the set. There was an amazing vibe. We had, we had so much fun all day. We were all snapping pictures, posing all day, like hanging out. Everyone was, they honestly were so professional. Though. I'm, for I'm students, sure it they, like. They shouldn't be students. They should be pros. Like they yeah. were so, they were so good, and they've been spending so much time outside of even that day working on it. I know a lot of people have been, you know, looking into it, fixing it, editing it, looking through it, and I appreciate it so much because it, it really looks incredible. Mm -hmm. So thank you guys. <laughs> and I, I'm, I'm sure all that stuff must have helped also for just the long shoot, like being able to kind it of kick did. back, be, it be casual. It did. Like everyone had a lot of some energy. Lip gloss. Uh, we got this we, big shot oh, up here. Oh, um, yep. There's there's an even better one where I, I look even better, and I'm just like even I'm doing better. Doing like, like fling, and then yeah. Phil, Phil's looking over and he's just laughing at me because I look ridiculous, and it was <laughs> it was funny. But no, everyone had a lot of energy, and a lot. You know, that's half of it. Yeah. If you're in a long shoot for a long day, you know, you get tired, you get lazy. But everyone's smiling, laughing, having a good time, and it just, it really helped us last through the night. Mm. <laughs> like, it really helped to keep us Keep that all. energy flowing. Yeah, right. and that was really important, and everyone was really into it and really incredible with that. So that, that's a really big thing that really helped us, and we all just, everyone worked really well together. Mm -hmm. And... I'm glad to hear it, because if I, if I heard there were problems, you know, I'd have to speak to people. I'm talking to you. Yeah. <laughs> um, this whole music video, mm -hmm. now that it's been shot, and uh, it's even been rough cut. I had the privilege of checking out uh, a yeah. rough cut of it, which looked <laughs> yeah. pretty good. Um, <laughs> I'm curious, do you have any comment on the rumor I heard in the, uh, you know, central Toronto Hollywood grapevine about <laughs> oh, wow. this music video hitting iTunes? It is true. It's true. <laughs> I can tell you that. It's true. Um, yeah, we were, yeah, we were wanting to put it on, um, on iTunes, and, you know, some of the clips on, uh, on YouTube, so if, if people wanted to check it out and stuff, and if people, you know, I mean, iTunes, mm -hmm. you know, I guess that's a pretty, you know, a lot of people know about iTunes, right? Uh, it's, it's some kind I've of heard, I've software heard of it. thing. I've heard of it. It's like Napster? Once or twice. Yeah, like yeah. something like that. I haven't really heard of it, but the odd person might hear of it. So, you know, and if all I want is, you know, it was so much fun to do, and if people want to check it out and like it, that's 
great, and that's all I wanted from it. I had mm -hmm. a lot of fun doing it no matter what. So. And I hear that uh, the director, uh, Kal Sigvari, he's got a bit of experience <laughs> getting things on iTunes, which is a bit oh, of a yeah. process. Oh, yeah. He's got um, it. He's got it. <laughs> I just want to ask you, I mean, it's not like he's in the room right now or anything. Oh, no. But I know he's not. What was so it doesn't matter like, what we say. What was right? it like working with him? I mean, like, just give me some dish here. Like, I'm just curious, you know, was, was it was it a... <laughs> Was it? Was it? A, oh, we got a shot of him right there with the huge piece there of red tape. There he is. Uh, there he is. There's the, the guy. <laughs> um, we had we had a lot of fun working together. He's incredible. He he has a really fantastic, specific vision of what he wants. Mm -hmm. What it's you know very specific on what we want it to look like. You know the vibe, like how you want it, and you know what? And he really took. Like I take him aside and like, Cal, like I don't want this, and like we you know we talk about what what kind of look we want. And when I saw it, I was. Like when he showed me the the video, like the first one of the first um, uh, videos that that they've been working on, mm -hmm. um, it it looked incredible, and he and you know he really took in a lot of what I had said that I initially the the kind of mysterious vibe the you know so because I want everyone to be able to picture their fantasy guy picture yeah. someone they really you know so I want everyone to be able to relate to it and stuff and he. He took that right into consideration, and in the video, it was unbelievable how he put that in there, and and it was great. He's he's really great to work with. Like I said, there were there were some uh, fantastic shots in there. I think my favorite one is still that silhouette shot because I didn't yeah, I didn't that see awesome. that in, in that any of the behind the scenes until yeah. I saw the clip on your site, and I was thinking, whoa, that I didn't know Marco was gonna look like a badass ghost or something like I that. I know, like, right? I know, and yeah. it, it looks so sick. It looks so crazy. Yeah, it was awesome. It was cool. It was really cool. Um, well, I'm sure that you know if if Cal does get wind of this interview, he'll be happy to hear about uh, some of these remarks. Uh, I'm, I'm we'll sure he will. We'll get that over to him be. pretty soon. Um, I just wanted to uh, kind of, I guess, just to, to move into uh, one of the last questions I have for you. Um, just in everything that you do, um, in in being an actor and a singer, uh, what do you think has helped you succeed in your goals so far? I just, I, I've been, I've had so much support with mm -hmm. everything, which is a really big thing, you know, to have people. Well, to, to yeah, not there. be left on your own. Like if you got yeah. people behind you, it can yeah. really help. Yeah, um, I mean, my piano teacher John Aegis is the nicest, funniest, best guy, and he's been really helping me with piano to work on everything. Like piano's hard, right? He's been helping me mm -hmm. with everything. And my vocal teacher uh, Kim Briggs, she's amazing. And I, ever since I started with her, things have been going really well. Like I've been feeling really good about stuff, and she, she helps you. Know, we're like best friends. Like we have girl talks every time we have a lesson. We have girl talks, and. Um, yeah. I also work with Elaine Overholt, who is incredible, and she is really helping me with my voice too on um, other aspects, not necessarily the classical, yeah. but more of the mix of classical pop sound. The, you know, she's working on that with me, and I just there's a million people to thank, uh, and everyone on set the other day, and everyone helping with everything was amazing. And that's the best part when you have when you have uh, people who are helping you learn parts of the craft you want to do, and you can yeah. kind of connect with them on a friendly level. Like, yeah. uh, that's something that I found. Um, that's a big thing. Like that's he, a big here thing. at Trevis and, and in the improv classes I've taken, uh, yeah. those were two great examples where I felt like I could actually talk with the instructors. Yeah. Like if you want, if you're gonna work well with them, you got you like you gotta like them. You gotta yeah. have good relationships. And everyone was like, all just got along really well. It's, it's hard and to take in knowledge from someone when you don't like actually it, talking. It to is. Them. It is. So. You're like, yeah, okay. Like you just can't. You can't. If you don't yeah. like them, it's you can't work with them. It's involved, especially with stuff like this where. You know, there is a lot of people running around. There's a lot of stuff that really have to be done right on one second. Like, there's a lot of yeah. that. So especially with all of that, it's really, it's really great to be working with people who you're also joking around with on the side and you're just having a good time with. Yeah. You know? So I mean, like we we haven't really joked at all because we're keeping it real. Oh serious no, we're here, keeping it extremely serious. Yeah. Like I don't. But that's my that's my own prerogative. Like I, I don't is, yeah. I do not like to have you know laughter on my set. It's I just, I understand that. That's completely understandable. Yeah. I haven't laughed once this whole time. Exactly. Yeah. But chocolate milk uh, is almost chocolate as good milk. as, as <laughs> it's hot almost chocolate. It's almost as good as hot chocolate. Like, it's kind of like cold hot chocolate. Like, if, you, if you put the marshmallows <laughs> no, in No, you told me heat the, heat the milk yeah, heat and the then milk, put the chocolate put the cho in. Yeah. yeah, I tell you, no, you, you got to do, you just got to put as much powder as you can. So when you take that spoonful, it's just wet powder. Oh, it's wonderful. It is so good. It's you know, a people taste look at surge. me, they judge. They're like, oh, really? And I'm like, people yeah. People always want to judge because everyone's going like, oh, you don't look good when you're eating. Who looks good when they're eating? Honestly, you put stuff in your I, mouth and you go like, hmm, 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 hmm. You don't look no like a cool person. No one looks good when they're eating. Yeah. It's true. That's a true fact. That's just, I want to get that message out there. No yeah, one looks what? good when this they're eating. This is actually what this show is based on. Yeah. This is what we really wanted to talk about today. No well, one looks good when they're eating, but hot chocolates. An exception. Exactly, and it's a fantastic music video, uh, quote unquote, <laughs> You Weaken Me. Thank you. Um, look for it on iTunes, hopefully. Check it out uh, when it comes out uh, in sometime in July, hopefully. Um, 
I want to thank you very much oh, for coming by. Oh, thank you. Uh, it was by. great to meet you. It oh, was likewise. great to meet you. Uh, we've been having a good time out here. <laughs> and, uh, Ooh, we got an applause. Oh, thank I you. I didn't tell you this. Ooh, thank There's you. actually a studio audience. I actually didn't see them the whole time, but hi. Yeah, I, I, okay, you know what? I lied <laughs> hey, to her. Hey, what's up? I said that they were catering. That's actually our audience. You lied to me? Well, I was trying to pull a joke on you. That's all. Um, anyway, <laughs> thank you all for watching once thank again. You. Thank you for joining thank us. You. We'll be back again with Production Matters the next time that production will matter. And until then, <laughs> stay important. Yeah, guys, really good job. Thank you very much.